Hello Aries and welcome to your future love reading. This is for Aries. Aries, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aries, this is for you. We're going to see what's going on with your future love. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now or in the future. All right, this is for Aries. What is going on with their future love? What is going on with Aries future love? What is going on with Aries future love? Okay, I feel like a hidden passion here. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, we got some hidden passion here. I mean, that's... They haven't taken the mask off yet. They haven't done the reveal in um, the way that they're feeling for you, right? There's this attraction. There's this magnetism. Um, very drawn to you, right? Um, I feel like it's going to be explosive once that mask comes off. All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on here. We'll pull some tarot on this. This is for Aries for their future love reading. If this resonates with you, Aries, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aries, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Aries out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So, however, <clears throat> excuse me, however, it resonates with you. This is for Aries, their future love reading. What is going on with Aries' future love? What is going on with Aries' future love? Nice. Definitely could be dealing with a Libra here. Got two cards for Libra. That's for some of you, not all of you. Um, we have the Eight of Cups here. Somebody, I feel like they they see you as they haven't revealed anything to you because you have not left an unfulfilling situation, Aries. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now the roles could be reversed, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. My allergies are horrible. The roles could be reversed, right? So keep that in mind. Eight of Cups, they, they're not going to say anything to you until you completely walk away from a situation. Um, they see you as having to make a decision. So they keep their emotions and their passion for you very, very hidden, okay? So um, Eight of Cups, they, they know that you're not in a fulfilling relationship, you're not in a place where you are cared for. That's what I want to say. Eight of Cups, that's water energy. So they're holding back. Um, they, they're they doing the um, strong, silent type game here. Um, so they're not saying anything. They're not really making any moves just yet. Um, they're waiting for you to leave a situation that's no longer serving you. And they're waiting for you to um, muster up that courage to do so, right? And strength. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart. They see you as stuck. They see you as trapped in a situation you don't want to be in. Okay, and they're just simply waiting for you to leave, make a decision to leave that that situation. Um, they're not going to say anything to you, Aries, until you do. Eight of Swords, this is air energy, right? So that's how they're seeing you. And with them, I, I feel like they, they think about you quite a bit because the swords can be our thoughts and... Um, they're surrounded. They're surrounded by thoughts of you. They think about you. 
while they are waiting, they are manifesting, right? So we have the magician here and we're pulling from all the elements. They are pulling from all the elements and trying to create, um, it's almost like they focus on you sometimes and they try to give you the courage to break free of that situation that you are trapped in. So they are manifesting a new beginning with you. Um, that's what I see. And they're trying to send you courage and they're trying to send you strength and they're trying to make this happen, right? Because they, they want to be with you. So we, um, they're pulling from all the elements in order to do this, right? To send you that energy and manifest the situation. We've got the sword, which represents air. That's for seeing clearly communication, right? We got the wand for passion, representing fire. The cup for love, representing emotion, right? Water. And then we have the pinnacle for success, and that is earth energy. Um, so they're trying to like bring all of this together, conjure all of this up and send you this energy, send you this strength to break free of a situation that is no longer serves you. They feel like you feel trapped in this situation and they want you to break free of it and they want a new beginning with you. Interesting. All right, Aries, I'm going to read the um, energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, right? Like I said before, time is fluid. So you'll be dealing with a situation uh, like this right now or in the future. Cross watchers, keep in mind some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So assign the roles as you wish. It is a general reading. Um, and, uh, I want you guys to be aware, um, uh, that there have been some <clears throat> content thieves pretty heavy out right now and the spiritual community is being hit pretty hard. Um, so make sure you're watching this on my channel, Secret Tarot, right? Make sure you're watching this video on my channel. It will say Secret Tarot, <laughs> Because people will download content from myself, it's been done many times, and other creators, and use it as their own. Um, if you see that happening, please let us know. Sometimes they're hard to find, but they will get taken down. Um, they will get a copyright strike, and um, there's a lot of them out there. Okay, I just wanted you all to know that. Thank you. All right, so... Six of Wands here, Aries. This is somebody that wants a victory with you. They would love your undivided attention. And that is what they want. They want your undivided attention. Um, but right now, they can't have it. Because you are, they see you as stuck in a situation. They, that's what they see. So they um, have no choice to, but to kind of wait and manifest until you make a decision. And if you're going to leave um, a, a, a situation or not and come towards them. So a decision needs to be made. You'd be dealing with a Libra or somebody with strong Libra in their chart, right? They want a balanced situation with you. You see those Libra scales there. But you're going to have to make a decision. They see you as having to make a decision, right? They're not going to accept anything less than just you and them. They want your complete and total focus, right? Not to mention loyalty and devotion. So they're not going to say a word about anything until you make a decision. They want growth here. And by the way, this is your other half, Aries. Male or female absolutely does not matter. In the tarot, you are the emperor. And this is your empress, right? That's how they see you. They see you as your other half. Somebody that has a strong soul connection to you. Um, they see you as the other half of their soul. Um, so we have the Empress here. Again, could be dealing with the Libra. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, new beginning here and growth, right? This person um, 
knows that you have a very caring um, nature. And they too, I feel like they have a very uh, soft and caring nature as well. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, they see you just at a standstill. They see you frozen where you're at. Like you you can't see your way out of it. You can't see clearly. Uh, more time, more information needed to make a decision to leave a situation. Um, two of um, swords here, right? Um, so yeah. Oh, and look at here. There it is. Got the emperor and the empress. What did I just say? <laughs> you are the other half of them. They are the other half of you. This is the divine masculine and the divine feminine of the tarot. They feel like you two belong together. You belong with them. So, yeah, they want you to get control of the situation. They want you to make a decision, Aries, and they want you to break free um, out of a situation that they feel like you are completely trapped in. Oh, my God. All right, one more soul connection here soulmate connection like I said they want that balance they want that balance they want a love relationship with you where it's just you and them and that's it two of cups water energy all right this is for Aries for their future love reading what is going on with Aries future love what is going on with Aries future love All right, so we got the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. You're dealing with a person that is um, well-seasoned. They're experienced. And they are not going to put their heart out there until you're able to receive it. They're not going to give you any kind of clarity or communication until you yourself follow your heart. They're thinking with their head here. Okay. They're putting emotions on the back burner because there's no movement from you. There's no decision making from you. So until that happens, they're going to be kind of cold. They're going to be a little bit cold as ice, right? All right. King of Cups. So like I said, they want a victory here with you with that Six of Wands. But that's not going to happen until you embrace this King of Cups energy and follow your heart. Okay, and follow your intuition, but most of all, follow your heart. Um, so, I there's nothing, it's like there's nothing that they can do. It's, it's up to you to make these moves. It's up to you to make these decisions. It's up to you to follow your heart. They can't do anything you could be dealing with a water sign by the way or somebody with strong water in their chart so what they what they're doing is they're just kind of leaving it up to the universe um all they can do is manifest they can send you um strength courage um using that you know magician the and manifestation and trying to create a situation um and just kind of leaving it up to the universe to god right and, and letting things just take place. And sometimes, Aries, if you don't move, um, the universe is going to move you. So just be aware of that. This person seems to know like it's only a matter of time. Um, but they absolutely 100% know that you are stuck. And you are frozen where you are that's how they see it like you're just at a you're at a complete stalemate and standing still you're not moving um so nothing's going to happen there's not going to be any growth here between the two of you right with your, the empress until you are free you're free to make those moves you're free to take leaps of faith with this person okay and when you're ready to take those risks, they will take them. They will take those risks with you. When you're ready to take that leap of faith, they will take it with you. 
but they are not going to be this person will not be um, second choice this person will not be um, uh, what do you call it rebound um, this person is the real deal okay this is your other half that's how they they're seeing that um, and this person can be stone cold. The person that's um, wanting you to come into their life, right? So, basically, the way I'm seeing this, the ball is in your court to make the decision to follow your heart here, Aries. That's why I'm seeing it. So, that is your future love reading. Um, your other half is waiting for you to make some bold choices and moves. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Please do follow the links that I provide because there's some imposter accounts out there, um, especially on Instagram. Um, what else? What else? Um, next week, Aries, I'm going to be working on the May 2020 mid-month reading, so check that out. Um, what else? For those of you that are new, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live around noon Eastern Standard Time. Um, it's either live or a pre-recorded premiere, so check that out. Um, all that information can be found down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. Um, Aries, I hope you have enjoyed your reading. And again, it can be vice versa or interchangeable, so please assign the roles as you wish. You have a wonderful week and take very good care of yourself, and I will talk to you very soon. Take care and God bless.